Over time, gamers have come to face many worthy foes. For the most difficult of these enemies, a good knowledge of mechanics, weapons, and equipment is often required. Some enemies have taught us that our efforts are futile, that we need to opt for better defense rather than offense. Others have shown us the value of patience, timing, and careful planning. Yet, there is one enemy who has taught us what is perhaps one of the most valuable skills of all, how to jump. And uh, that's basically it. That's right, Goomba, we're looking at you, buddy. Before we begin, be sure to subscribe to Mojo Plays and click on the links in the description to vote on upcoming content. The Goomba has made an impressive mark on video game history. As one of the most basic enemies in the Super Mario Bros. franchise, the Goomba does a great job of teaching the player simple mechanics. Look out, he's a coming! What's your first instinct? Jump! Well, that's Video Games 101 right there. However, this achievement in game design does not set the Goomba free of all its flaws, and we're talking about the entire species here. Goombas may come in crowds with various abilities, but when you look at the big picture, these little bastards are quite pathetic. As Mario ventures across worlds to save Princess Peach from Bowser, he comes across an assortment of enemies which test his speed and jumping abilities. We gotta avoid Chain Chomps, Bobombs, Koopa Troopas, and Lakitus, just to name a few. All of these bad guys pose a considerable threat to our Mario. Some enemies let you spin jump on them without taking any damage. Others will reward you by granting Mario a special power-up, like a cape feather. Goombas, on the other hand, are about as basic as they come. While other enemies follow certain attack patterns, the Goomba has one objective. Walk straight, and don't turn back unless you run into something. These guys are so stupid that they'll blindly walk into a bottomless pit without any hesitation. Or is that just dedication? Anyway, if you decide to turn Mario into a murderous psychopath and kill every Goomba you see, don't expect much satisfaction from it. Mario might trip up and run into a Goomba on occasion, but how else are these guys going to attack when all they can do is walk? They don't even kick! We suppose the Goomba is not completely pathetic. We've seen Goombas actually give a little more effort when attacking Mario. Even the most basic of Goombas will generally team up and try to take down our mustachioed hero. They'll also stack up on top of each other to form an impassable Goomba tower. And as for the Galoomba or Paragoomba, don't expect them to strike any fear into your heart. However, there are several Goomba types that require a little extra thinking, such as the Goombeetle and the Spiked Goomba, both of which wear little headgear that protects them from being jumped on. Then you have a few that utilize power-ups in the game, like the Cat Goomba or Tail Goomba. Oh, and don't forget about the ones that use Karibo's shoe. These strategies are, you know, great and all, but they aren't enough to keep them from getting squashed. Nearly every Goomba, no matter how big or small, can be defeated with a single jump or ground pound. And even the ones wearing protection cannot stay alive for very long. They might come in many variants, but even then, they're mere child's play. Look, we know we've been harping on these little guys quite a bit. Maybe they have the potential to be formidable foes. Maybe these simpletons are being commanded by a far stronger, menacing overlord of their species. Well, <laughs> enter the Goom Boss, who, like his minions, is a complete and utter disappointment. In Paper Mario, hit the Goom Nut Tree, and he's done. In Super Mario 64 DS, he's defeated by Yoshi's eggs. <sighs> this guy isn't doing his fellow Goombas any favors. So despite all the effort they put into using power-ups or cooperating with each other, there's still no match for Mario and the player. We'll always appreciate the existence of Goombas, and maybe someday we'll see them take their place amongst the more terrifying of video game enemies. But until then, they'll keep on walking, and we'll keep jumping on their squishy, squishy heads. It is for these reasons that we must name the Goomba the saddest enemy in video games of all time. <laughs> Thanks for watching Mojo Plays. Be sure to subscribe and click on the link in the description below to check out our suggestion page and vote on what content you'd like to see us cover next.